We are on the set of my music video, Heart Like a Truck. Rubs on dreams in gasoline and that old highway holds a key. Here we go. That's great. Oh my, you couldn't have planned that better. Right? It's like I planned the shot or something. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Kill it, dude. It's gonna be so fun. That was an exclusive look behind the scenes from Lainey Wilson's new music video yes. for her brand new single, Heart Like a Truck. Joining us now is the country singer herself. Hey, girl. It is so good to see you. It is so good to see Always. you. Always. We have to talk about that CMT Music Awards performance. <laughs> In the pouring In rain. In the pouring rain. Your hair was drenched. My poor hair and makeup artist was <laughs> upset. She had been working on me all day and then and just torrential downpour. But honestly, one of my favorite moments of my career so far with my buddy Cole Slendale, like, it was pretty magical. It was picture perfect, too. Yeah. With the raindrops coming down. Like, what was actually going through your mind at the time? Were you at all worried that there's rain, there's electricity? Yes, girl. I, <laughs> I was like, well, let's just hope we don't get electrocuted. <laughs> but about like three minutes before mm -hmm. the show started, it, the sky opened up in Nashville yeah. and just decided, you know, to, yeah. to do its thing. And I looked at Cole when we got on stage and I said, we're going to do this thing. And he was yeah. like, let's do it. So we just walked out on the thrust and uh, we gave it our best shot. And it was it was pretty dang cool. A few people like were commenting online and they were mm -hmm. like, I love this song. I love Laney and Cole singing together, but I just don't understand the rain. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's because <laughs> we can't do anything about it. It's Mother Nature, <laughs> y'all. Yes. I mean, what? An incredible year for you. Yes. When you wrote Things a Man Ought to Know, did you have any inkling that it would bring you to where you are now? That it would be that little song that could? Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know. Man, it's so crazy. Like, two weeks before we went in to record my record, Things a Man Ought to Know was not even on the list. It was not on the list to even record. And I remember exactly where I was in Nashville when... I had this overwhelming mm -hmm. feeling that we were supposed to record it, so you know, I had to call the label and be like, I know we've already got our, our songs picked out, but for some crazy reason, my gut and my heart is telling me that uh, we've got to cut the song, and it has changed, it has changed my life, it's changed my team's life, my family's mm -hmm. life, and like you just said, it was the little song that never gave up. Now I would ask you, you know, how do you top a song like that, <laughs> but I feel like I know the answer because your new single, Heart Like a Truck, I mean, girl. That means a lot. Wow. Thank you. What is the backstory behind this new song? Oh my gosh, you know, it's just about, it's really um, semi-autobiographical and it's just mm -hmm. like talking about the things that, that I've been through that have gotten me to where I am, you know, about where I've been, but also where I'm going. Mm -hmm. um, there is something so cool about finding freedom and strength and, and being okay and embracing your scars and the bumps mm -hmm. along the way, because at the end of the day, that's what builds character. It makes us who we are. That's it. And so that's what it's about. You know, it's about, it's for anybody and everybody who's ever had heartbreak, mm -hmm. hard luck, hard times, mm -hmm. you name it, we've all been there. And look at us on the other side of it. That's it. That's it. You mentioned where you've been and where you're going. Yep. Where are you going? What, where do you see yourself in the next few years? This has been my dream and my, my life's mission mm -hmm. is just to sing country music. It is my life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from a town of 263 people where country music truly is just, it's our life. Yeah. I didn't even realize it was a genre growing up. Yeah. But um, I just, I just want to continue being able to say what I want to say, how I want to say it, mm -hmm. and keep being me, um, unapologetically me. And I want to encourage everybody else to do that too. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to be pretty dang cool to see where we are in a few years. But the crowds are going to get bigger. The music's yep. going to get louder. <laughs> Let's go. I'm pumped. Now, this new single also falls at a special time yes. in your life. Your 30th birthday. That's it. Was that planned? It was not planned. It okay. just happened. And what a birthday present. Yeah. I'm just, I'm excited for my 30s. Yeah. Uh, my 20s were interesting. A lot of great things happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, I signed my first publishing deal. I got a record deal. Um, my first song went to country radio. Okay. But the 
first seven years of my twenties <laughs> were rough. I mean, I was mm -hmm. I was living in my camper trailer. I was just uh, mm -hmm. trying to figure it out, just like we all are in this life. And and at the end of the day, that's what it's about. But I have a feeling my thirties are going to look a lot different. What is the vibe you're going into? The mindset that you're going into your thirties with? Oh my gosh really and truly just like really embracing mm -hmm. who I am. Um, along the way, there's a lot of people's opinions and I'm just gonna keep my blinders on mm -hmm. and stay in my own lane and do what I do and mm -hmm. that's all I can do. But um, but yeah, 30s are, 30s are looking good. I mean, after your 20s, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you have, is there anything that you have a specific goal for your 30s? Knowing what you've accomplished already in your 20s, is there anything that is in the back of your mind for your 30s? Oh my goodness, there's so many things that I wanna do. Like if, if you would've looked at like my list of things mm -hmm. that I wanted to do, like I had set a goal list um, for this year and we truly have like, we have crossed off a lot of those things. Um, and it's, it's just, it's pretty crazy how far you can come if you just really like mm -hmm. dive into it head first and just do the dang thing. But uh, but yeah, there's there's so much I wanna do. I wanna continue doing collaborations with people. Mm -hmm. I think that is the coolest thing that country music has really gotten into lately. Yeah. Um, I think it's cool to be able to like share each other's crowds. And that's that's been a huge deal for me, especially with this Cole Swindell song. I mean, he has really embraced me mm -hmm. and kind of showed the rest of the world, like, hey, I believe in this girl, and right. maybe you should too. And it's important to have people like that along the way. So mm -hmm. um, I just want to continue putting out music that is who I am to mm -hmm. my core. All and of the things that you learned in your 20s going into this music. It now. is crazy yeah. how you carry it on over. Yeah. So that's it. You mentioned the collaborations. Is there anybody in particular that you may have conversations with already right now or that you're eyeing that you really I've got, wanna? There's so many collaborations I wanna do. Of course, like in the country world, I'd love to do Eric Church, Dolly Parton, you mm -hmm. name it. Like oh God, Chris Stapleton, Brothers Osborne, so many. I also love Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. I think he is so cool. I love Alan Stone. I'm, I mean, I'm shooting big. But we have to. That's it. We're all about manifesting That's too. It. Have you pursued the Dolly collab? Because I, I feel like, I mean, you two. We haven't. Peas in a yet. pod. I think we would get along just I great. I think you guys we have would not be... met yet. Stop it. We have not met. But I think we would be best buds. Okay. I think she's best buds with anybody, probably. So maybe that first meeting, then you talk about the collab. <laughs> I'm telling you, she, Dolly Parton, mm -hmm. hands down one of the biggest inspirations. Yeah. I mean, for so many people around the mm -hmm. world, but just who she is, uh, the way that she tells it how it is, a little bow wrapped on top. Yeah. She's just she's just a good person, got a heart of gold. I think we were, if we were all a little bit more like her, the world would be a much better oh. place. Well, you are because you are authentically you, and that's something that Dolly is, and that has gotten her to where she is. That's so. one thing that I've tried to, yeah to take from her. W-W. Double D, I got Wait, you. That's what would it. Dolly do? Yeah, WWDD, <laughs> what would Dolly do? I had to put them double Ds in it. <laughs>